Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of representing integer operations. This is standard 6.3c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 3 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a model here. We've got three closed dots, five open dots, and we are supposed to use that to represent an integer operation. Now we do have a key, but if you haven't noticed, this key is going to be very tricky uh, simply because they actually kind of flipped the order. So our open dots are going to equal ones. So we've got one, 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 one. Our closed dots are going to represent negative one. So even though in our key we have our closed dots on top, in our actual model our closed dots are on the bottom. So that's the one trick that we have to kind of watch out for here. But let's go ahead and label those as negative ones and ones and let's see what that looks like here. So if I were to take my three negative ones and we're going to just assume that these have an additive relationship. So we've got negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. That's going to be negative 3. And then, once again, we have to assume we've got an additive relationship here. So we've got 5 positive ones. So we've got negative 3 plus 5. You see we've got uh, a space there, which means we've got 2 extra because these all are going to cancel each other out because there's nothing right there. So it looks like if we were to take the negative 3 and the positive 5, we would get 2, which means it looks like our answer is going to be B. That looks pretty good. So let's take a look at the other options. A. Well, look at A. It's got the same on the left side of the equation. They've got the negative 3 plus 5, which that's good. But take a look at this. Negative 3 plus 5 equals negative 2. That's our difference right there. Well, if we have, if we're matching these up, 1 and 1, so this negative 1 crosses out that positive 1, that negative 1 crosses out that positive 1, because negative 1 and 1 make 0. We've got some 0 pairs here, which leaves these two on their own and they're both positive they're not negative so that's why a is not going to work simply because on this side of the equation it should be positive 2 rather than negative 2 so this C actually looks different it's got a negative 3 so what would that look like so that would be negative 3 so that's three closed dots and then it's got negative 5 so now it's got five closed dots. And they say that's supposed to equal negative two. Actually, that would equal negative eight. Because if they're all negatives, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's this negative right here. It's the wrong, uh, wrong, wrong sign there. It's a negative. It should be a positive. That's going to mess up your C. And then finally, let's take a look at what we have on D. So D, we've got, I'll draw that over here for room, 3, so that's positive 3, negative 5, so that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, and there's my negative 5, which looks like that should, let's see, this is my that's a zero pair, zero pair, zero pair. It looks like I've got two negatives left over. So that should equal negative two. So first off, they've got a positive two. It should be a negative two. And secondly, if you didn't notice, they flipped the order here. Instead of a negative three, they give us a positive three. And instead of a positive five, they give us a negative five. So they just put the wrong signs, they put added negative where positive should be. Answer is B.